All right, we're going to take a look at the append function. Now, the append function is a built in Golang function that assists with slicing operations. So, just like it sounds, it's going to allow us to append values to the end of a slice. So, let's go ahead and run this. So, we have a slice of int here with the values 1, 2, and 3. We save that into the variable numbers and we print it to the screen as you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and use the append function. Now the append function takes a slice and it's going to append a value or values, and this one is just one, to that slice. Now, one thing to keep track of this is a slice of int, so this has to be a compatible type. Compatible type. This has to be an int. Now, if this was a slice of string, well, then we could only append something like a string. So anyway, we append our value to our value to our slice, and then it's going to go ahead and return the same type of, you know, same type, which is a slice. So it's a slice event. It's going to return that same type, and we're going to use use the assign operator to assign that back to numbers. And as you can see, we appended the number four, and we saved it back to numbers, and there it printed. Now, like we said, you can assign, I'm sorry, append multiple values all at once. So same operation we had before, we give it our slice, and then we just give it all of the values we want to append to that slice. Now the append function always expects the slice to be the first parameter. And anything after that is just stuff it's gonna to attempt to append to the slice. Now you can even create a new slice like we did here and you can append that to your current slice. So we have a slice event with eight, nine, and 10, and we have our number slice and we're placing in our slice here. But remember we have to have these three, three dots. So that way it knows to take all three elements and append those to numbers. And let's run that. There we go. We appended our slice of 8, 9, 10 to our number slice. Now we're going to take a look at some other common operations from moving from the end of a slice to the front of a slice, adding to the front of a slice, and so on. But first, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at overlapping. So you can actually do the same thing like we created a, we have a letter slice. And we're going to create a, another slice called letters2, and we're going to print that. Now, while we're appending it, we're going to go ahead and hand it a slice of letters. As you can see, if there's, if there's no number, it starts at the lowest bound, which is 0, and goes to 3. So 0, uh, I'm sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to take those three letters. Let's go ahead and print that while we're at it so you can see what it's doing. And that's where we get these first three letters. And we're actually going to pass it another slice that overlaps with this original slice. And that's okay. So this one starts off at 1 and goes to the very end. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So that's where we get the B, C, and D. So as you can see, we're overlapping you know, some of the elements like B. Um, but that's perfectly legal. Uh, just remember your three dots because this is still a slice. And it needs to know, hey... I need to go ahead and add those one by one. Now let's say if we want to remove the last of a slice, what we're going to need to know is, you know, where do we want um, to slice this? So um, we just want the letters A, B, and C. So what we're going to want here is a zero, which they don't have a value there. So we want zero to three. So we want zero through zero for the lower bound and three for the upper bound. So we, we already know where to start at the, you know, at the lower bound. That's at zero, of course. Now we have to make this part here equal to three. So we can use the length 
uh, function to go ahead and find the length of our string. I'm sorry, uh, slice. So we have one, two, three, four items, and we just minus one. So regardless of the length of our slice, if we want to get rid of the last element on the slice, you know, we could just use this right here. There we go. We got rid of the D and it's just A, B, and C. All right, so in this one, we want to remove the first element of our slice. So we just have B, C, and D. So what we want here is we want to start here and go to there. So there's index zero, and we know that to get rid of the first one, we just need to start our index at one, and then we can actually just leave this blank here because that will give us our highest bound for us. Let's print that. And as you can see, B, C, and D. Now let's say we want to go ahead and add a value to the start of a slice. Now we have our letter slice here, which is A, B, C, and D. And we want to put the value or the string Z at the start of our slice. So the easiest way to an easy way of doing this is just making a slice literal, which we have our, our slice of string, you know, with just one value, just the value Z. And then we're going to go ahead and append the entire letters slice onto that. So we gave it a blank one to get the lowest low bound, and we give it a blank here for the highest uh, upper bound. And of course, this is a slice. so. We give it the three dots, and there we go. Puts it onto the front. So those are some of the common operations, whether you're removing from you know the front or adding to the front or removing from the end or adding to the end of your slice. Uh, as long as you can kind of remember, you know, always start off at zero, and we can use the length uh, function to figure out. How many elements in there and by using that you can figure out the very end of your slice uh, very uh, how to remove the very end of your slice but anyway I'll see you in the next one